Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christian. If it's your first time seeing me, go ahead and like this video because I know you're going to like it already. Subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you never miss another upload. And if you are, are subscribed, hey babies, welcome back. Again, I'm a spiritual mentor. All of my content here is about healing you and helping you reach your highest self. If you're interested in shopping with me, shopping herbal products, um, booking a session with me, getting tickets to courses, all that good stuff, check the description. Um, but today, guys, we're going to be talking about how to know when it's time to to enter hermit mode and we also are going to be talking a little bit about how to know when it's time to reintegrate yourself back into the world um, but let's just get into how to know when it's time to enter hermit mode so this video is going to be the first of a few videos that I'm going to be doing um, kind of titled how to know blank we're going to be talking about a bunch of different things and how to know so yeah Let's just go ahead and get into it. So how to know when it's time to enter hermit mode. So first things first, hermit mode refers to the energy of a tarot card, the hermit. Um, the hermit represents isolation, reflection within, you know, taking your time to reflect within, taking that necessary time in beneficial isolation so you can move better, so you can move stronger, and so you can just be able to evolve in different ways, see things in different ways. And I think, you know, there are so many different times throughout our life where we might be required to go into hermit mode for different reasons. Um, sometimes we have to go into hermit mode to process grief. Sometimes we have to go to get ready for a new chapter. Sometimes we have to go to get clarity about, you know, some conflict in our lives. A bunch of different things can push us into hermit mode. But when is the real time for you to isolate yourself, turn your phone on, do not disturb, and take some time with you? So first things first, you know, if you are wondering, is this the right time to be in hermit mode? Should I be in hermit mode? Really ask yourself, what space are you in right now? And what do you need to learn? What do you need to see? What do you need to figure out in your current space? If you feel you could better do that in your own private isolation, then you need to be in hermit mode. You know, some things we cannot discover with our partner right next to us because maybe our partner is a source of these problems. Some things we can't discover because we have friends in our lives that might make us anxious, might make us doubt ourselves. You know, you might feel one way and then hear a word from someone else and then you might want to be compelled to, you know, change your mind. So I think it's important to know how you reflect, you know, what does meditation mean to you? What does gaining peace of mind mean to you and if you're in a space where you need to get back to that peace of mind if you're in a space where you feel disconnected from yourself if you're in a space where you feel like there are big 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 things that you need to know and everywhere you turn you're looking for an answer and you can't find an answer the chances are that the answer is within yourself and that we're looking at YouTube videos and pick a cards and asking for advice when in reality the answer is within ourselves you know if you're trying to figure out why something happened to you the answer is within yourself if you're trying to figure out why certain things keeps happening happening or why you step into another mistake again or why you take another L, the answer is going to be in that hermit mode and in that reflection. You know, I can't tell you everything. Your friends can't tell you everything. The answers for everything are not, you know, online, like I said, in a pick a card. Sometimes the only way to get to the bottom of something is to spend some time with you. What is beneficial about hermit mode and why hermit mode? You know, why can't you just figure everything out with everybody around you? A few different reasons you know I feel the main reason is that when you are with everybody else in your life you're a different person outside of who you are when you are alone and that's the truth no matter how real you are I'm very very real and I can even say that you know who you are when you are alone is very different from who you are when you're with your partner your friends your family your job whatever even if you are the same for the most part I feel like we all have a core identity or just who we are that kind of passes into all the little versions of us but when you are by yourself there are certain things that you'll say to yourself. There are certain things that you know about yourself. There are certain conversations that you will only have with you when nobody else around is around. There are certain things that you're only comfortable admitting to yourself when it's just you right there. And if you know there's a lot of things you've been avoiding, if you know you're in denial about a lot of things, if you even feel like you're delusional about certain things in your life, if there are certain things in your life that you know you need to accept but you just can't accept them, all of those things are a sign to step into hermit mode. You know, hermit mode gives you the time to whip yourself back into shape. However, it may be physically, mentally, emotionally, psychologically, in any space where you need to say, hey, what are you doing? What am I doing? How is this affecting me? Am I taking care of myself right now? I have me messed up. Anytime you have yourself messed up, it's time to get back into hermit mode. Anytime you allow that job to have you messed up, those friends, that partner, whatever. Anytime you allow something on the outside of your life to mess up what you have going on to disturb your mood, it's a time to take a step back. 
Because in reality, the only thing that should be affecting your mood is you. And of course, we always have the opportunity to decide how we want to let the things in our environment affect us. You can choose to let something give you a bad day, a bad month, a bad year. You can choose to let something spin you in a depressive cycle. Or you can choose to let something be a lesson that you know makes you more confident. You can choose to let something just be a stumbling block that doesn't really affect you that much. But I feel the time you spend in hermit mode really determines how you handle the ups, how you handle the downs of life, you know, how you handle hard conversations, how you handle, you know, being betrayed by others, how you handle being isolated by people in your life. Because sometimes you don't want to be in hermit mode, but everybody just shuts you out. You know, what about when you're involuntarily put in hermit mode, you know? I really feel like hermit mode is something that is unavoidable. And eventually, like I said, even if all of the people in your life have to cut you, cut you out, if you're supposed to spend some time on your own, you will spend that time on your own. And whatever you need to learn and discover, you're going to be able to do it. I also feel if you are uncomfortable with yourself, then you might be called to kind of spend some time in hermit mode. I feel like a lot of us have an uncomfortable relationship with ourselves where we might not feel comfortable, you know, looking at ourselves in the mirror or talking to ourselves or admitting certain things to ourselves or forgiving certain things to ourselves. Life is so much harder when you don't have a connection with yourself. You know, when you don't have a connection with yourself, you're living off of fear, shame, guilt, resentment, you know, things that everybody else around you can use against you. You know, if you already feel like a shitty person because you're judging yourself for mistakes you've made in the past, people in your life can make you feel like a shitty person for not letting you take advantage, you know, for not letting them take advantage of you or for standing your ground or for setting a boundary. They can easily say, oh, what's going on right here? You're not a good friend. You're not a good person. And immediately you'll believe those things because you've already been feeling like that for yourself. You know, so if you have allowed other people to make you feel a certain way for so long, you've gotten disconnected with you, time to step into hermit mode. If you feel like you're in a space where everybody's opinions are the only things that are ruling your life, step into hermit mode. Now, what does hermit mode look like? There's a few different ways that we can go about hermit mode. And I was thinking about this when I knew I wanted to do this video. You can step into hermit mode where you kind of shut everybody out and you really just work and focus on yourself 24 seven. You can step into hermit mode, how I like to call it, hermit mode where the best is present, okay? So this basically means I am isolating myself from everybody except for the people that make me feel good, except for the people that make me feel my best. What does this mean? Maybe the only time I get out is when I'm able to see my very, very, very best friend. Maybe the only time I'm able to get out is if I'm going to the botanical gardens to have a beautiful day of, you know, healing and release. Maybe the only time I'm allowing myself to, you know, do something social is when I know it's going to fill me with love and satisfaction. You know, sometimes you know you need to step into hermit mode when you keep trying to feed yourself with nights at the club and brunches and day parties and you still feel lonely. You still feel unfulfilled. You still feel like your missing community so if you are trying to constantly fill yourself with other people other people's energies other people's vibes trying to feed off of their energy and you still feel empty that's another sign that it's time to step into hermit mode because you have to fill yourself before you can allow anybody else to fill you up so be mindful of that as well you know yes hermit mode spending time with yourself is great but you can also spend time with yourself or maybe you see your friends every other week or once a week or you choose one trusted friend to have like a vent session with them every week as you're going through this healing process you know you don't have to do it 100 percent alone sometimes you do need someone to be there for you to kind of you know guide you through the process even if you need to tell somebody hey i've been in hermit mode i've been in isolation i'm doing a lot of work right now in solitude but these are the things that i've been discovering about myself you know i just want to tell this to somebody else i want someone else to kind of talk to about these things have you ever experienced having to rebuild your confidence having to forgive yourself for mistakes from the past having to release bonds you know look at trauma in a different way having to let go of grudges you know have you ever experienced that and if you do have someone in your life that can resonate with you and connect with you in that way then of course allow this person to be your pen pal allow this person to be your you know spiritual confidant in this space communicate with them let them know how you're feeling stay in touch with them you know have maybe a couple of days where you do your own journaling your own meditation your own prayer and then you know hit them up every week and you guys have a little powwow 
It's all about what works for you. Um, I also have a group chat, you know, with Sacred Solidarity. I believe you guys can check the description box to find the Instagram to Sacred Solidarity, my online community, and you can find the group chat through there. If you just wanted to tap in with the group chat, you know, every week, whether it's mine or where you find a group chat on Facebook or whether you already have a group message with your friends, you know, make it a point to connect with people if you feel like you need to. No one's hermit mode looks like the same. Someone's hermit mode might, might last a year. It might last years. Someone's hermit mode might be you know like them doing a staycation for their birthday weekend and then that two-day weekend they get downloads about everything that they've needed to know and after that space they're ready to jump back out there it depends because hermit mode serves as something different for all of us but an element of hermit mode is time and not rushing the process you know, hermit mode might be a five-year period. And in that five-year period, you might be going on trips and meeting people and connecting with people, but you could feel more connected to yourself than anything, you know? I definitely feel I've been in hermit mode for the rest, like the entirety of this year. And now we're in July of 2023. You know, I've gone through so many changes. I've met so many new people. I've lost so many people. And I feel like I've been in hermit mode, even though I've been going out more than ever and meeting people more than ever and on the scene more than ever and, and, and outside more than ever. I feel like I've been walking with me more than ever too. Like I've had my back more than ever. I've understood myself more than ever. I've connected with myself more than ever. And this has caused me to spend a lot of time talking to myself. And I've always talked to myself a lot, but talking to myself about how things affect me, you know, not making myself feel shame about the things that I feel, accepting myself for what I feel and kind of casting a light on anything that I'm experiencing. You know, hermit mode also tells you to bring the things to the light. So like I said, if you've been trying to ignore stuff if you're in denial, if you're trying to push stuff to the back to act like it didn't exist or act like it didn't hurt you, this is the time to step into hermit mode. This is the time to say, wait, I need to illuminate what I'm feeling. I need a full moon moment. Hermit mode is a full moon moment because you know the second you look into what's bothering you, it'll all make sense. It'll all unfold. It'll all align. It's kind of like going to therapy for the first time. You know, most of the time you're going to cry because you're just talking, you start to open up about the little things that you push down. And that's really what hermit mode is. The second you start to shine a light on where your insecurities come from and where your doubt comes from, where your fear comes from, you know, why you have lost certain people, why certain things haven't worked out. You know, as soon as you start to look at that little by little, it all starts to come together and make sense. And you end up with a picture of your life that makes more sense to you than ever before. And you're able to see people differently, understand people differently, you know. I feel like my time in hermit mode has made me a lot more humble. I feel like it's a lot me to realize my faults more I feel like it's allowed me to understand why I have allowed myself to step into certain things you know my issues when it comes to accepting certain things from people or allowing myself to set a tone that does not align with what I really want you know not always being the best advocate for myself in terms of what I need and what I deserve so Hermit mode is super, super, super beneficial. I think hermit mode is something that we all kind of run from, but then we end up stuck in hermit mode and it's difficult for us to find our way out. So just a little spiel about how to kind of find your way outside of hermit mode and find your way back to connecting with people. Um, well, actually, let me just give you guys a few more pointers, just kind of like reading off really, really fast. Um, a few quick things about, you know, when to know if you need to go in hermit mode. If you feel like your friends are no longer your friends, go in hermit mode. If you feel like you've been spending time with people and the more you have conversation with them, you start to feel like, wait, we don't have anything in common. Why am I around these people? Go in hermit mode. If you start to feel like the people that you're around make you feel, you know, insecure rather than confident, if they make you feel anxious, if you start to feel worried about, oh my God, I know I have to see these people this weekend. What am I going to say? What am I going to wear? Are they going to judge me for what I'm wearing? You know, go into hermit mode. If you start to feel like, you know, being around a certain group or a certain person is, you know, like I said, causing you anxiety, causing you fear, causing you to, you know, worry about it for weeks upon weeks before it even happens, because you just know that if it doesn't go right it's going to really mess you up or really set you back time to go into hermit mode and hermit mode doesn't mean that you're never going to have to be in an uncomfortable space i was in a lot of uncomfortable spaces due to hermit mode a lot of uncomfortable spaces but i stood by myself in all of those uncomfortable spaces and i shined a light in those uncomfortable spaces and was able to understand why i was there why it didn't feel the best why i you know maybe ended up in that space how i can make sure i don't end up in that space again you know so hermit mode it's super beneficial 
and it's a part of life and it can be a cold part of life it can be a lonely part of life but that's why i say it's good to have little spots of community whether it's a good a group chat or one trusted friend that you have to vent to or whatever the case may be because that can make it a lot easier but of course the goal is to be able to be comfortable in your solitude in your individuality in the time that you have with yourself because nothing lasts forever and if your joy your confidence your self-love is always rooted in someone else loving you or someone else supporting you you won't ever be where you need to be in terms of how you're supposed to connect with yourself because you have to be your foundation to love to your faith to your belief in yourself to your confidence no one else can instill that in you they can definitely you know help boost what you already have but you already have to have a foundation of that for people to really even do any good so um when you've been in hermit mode for a while and when you're just feeling a little antsy i always recommend you know getting back out there possibly going to some places by yourself you know going to a park in your area just kind of challenging yourself to get out of the house i feel a lot of times we do hermit mode the wrong way just by isolating ourselves from everybody and everything you can still have hermit mode at the club at the gardens you know on a hike on a trail on a solo trip hermit mode doesn't mean in the room in the dark you know for a year it can mean a lot of different things so make sure that you're still nurturing your mind and nurturing your energies and doing things that make you feel good while you're in this period of hermit mode for sure um but like i said you know whether it's a group chat or one trusted friend allow yourself to connect with people and then start to kind of reflect on why you had to maybe separate yourself in the first place what wasn't serving you what was the intention in those relationships how can you set better intention for the connections that you're going to be stepping with in the future and stepping into in the future you know how can you make sure that the spaces that you're in serve you more and serve you better you know what needs to happen what needs to take place in order for those things to come together um you know like i said group chat meeting people online you know putting yourself out there stepping into different spaces switching up your routine going to a yoga class you know doing a pottery class you know doing different things to challenge yourself to you know step into some new spaces and i feel like every time we step out of our hermit mode you're kind of like a new creature you know like whenever the the hermit or the crab steps out of their shell after they just you know shed one shell you have a soft shell crab right until it transforms into its new hard shell so now you're in the space after hermit mode to learn to absorb to grow to transform and become a new solidified version of yourself that's going to carry you forward so all of the things that you've learned while you've been broken down and reflecting in that space of hermit mode you can now use to create a new beginning for yourself i feel it can be confusing and not really make sense because you are creating a new beginning but that's the most exciting thing about this journey you're creating a new beginning you have the opportunity to do something new you can be whoever you want to be you don't have to allow anything from your past to kind of shine a negative light or a dark shadow on this new version of you after hermit mode you can quite literally be a new person you know new person new goals new ideas new vibe you know and that's the benefit of the changes that we can make you know in this life when we make the most out of hermit mode and like i said when you're in hermit mode you can spend a lot of time journaling praying meditating you know really 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 picking and fine-tuning your um connections the people you connect with getting really specific on your boundaries you know upping the ante upping the stakes upping the price in terms of you know who you allow in your life why you allow them in your life you know you don't ever want to feel like you have to have a certain friend or you have to have a certain person in your environment just because you've known them or just because they've been there before you know hermit mode gives you the opportunity to literally fine-tune your community the the people that serve you the best the things that make you feel the most confident the things that make you feel the most secure in yourself and why wouldn't you do that you know why wouldn't you take that chance especially if you already kind of had to isolate yourself in order to get to this new beginning um so yeah i feel like hermit mode is a really beneficial part of life i feel like a lot of us have experienced hermit mode this year and i feel like you know we're definitely coming to the end of a cycle like i talked about chapter nine and chapter ten i feel like we're definitely coming to the end of a cycle where now it's time to you know turn your attention to creating new communities stepping into new spaces and you know meeting new people putting yourself out there but hermit mode is a really important really beneficial space to be in and like i said there are certain things that you can only learn on your own um so yeah if you feel called to step into hermit mode create a plan you know give yourself the benefit of the doubt and allow yourself to really be immersed you know in the self-love in the self-discovery and you know really give yourself the necessary time in order to do that and i think it will be really really beneficial if you you know let yourself just fall into that space so yeah
I appreciate you guys. I thank you guys for being here. I hope you guys enjoy this little spiel, this quick little chit chat video about how to know when it's time to enter hermit mode and some different things about hermit mode and connecting with other people and, you know, um, restarting your community. I am going to be making some different videos about how to know when it's time to cut off certain friends and, you know, how to basically um, reposition yourself into a new community and meet new people. But it's very important to remember that you might cycle out of a lot of different soul circles and sister circles and communities before you truly, truly find your tribe. You know, you might not find your tribe at 19. You might not find your tribe at 35. It might take you a lot of trial and error, you know, a lot of ups and downs in community to find people that you can do life with. Life is long, guys. So don't get too caught up in not having your tribe yet or feeling like you haven't found people to do life with yet. Just continue to look forward, continue to grow and trust that, you know, the more you figure out what you don't need, you're one step closer to knowing what you do need. Um, so yeah, I appreciate you guys. I hope you guys um, enjoyed this space. and I'm really looking forward to connecting with you guys in the future. I definitely think I might be doing a podcast episode talking about, you know, how to get out of permit mode and how to, you know, put yourself back out there and connect with new people. Someone from the Sacred Solidarity group chat suggested I do a podcast episode on that. So definitely be on the lookout for that, guys. But I appreciate y'all. Remember to check the description box for all of the tea and information. But yes, I love you guys. I thank you all for being here and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Bless.